In this video, you'll discover why logging in when you do your library searches will make your research much more useful and efficient. Here's how it works. So let's say your research project is trying to discover the impact of climate change on ticks, uh, maybe impacting Lyme disease. So you do a search on that and you click your search button right here and you'll receive your results as um, you normally do. So find out all your results right here. But however, uh, see this little yellow bar for complete results, log in with your credentials. Let's just see what that'll offer us. So I'm gonna click my account and allow me to, to log in right here. And I will click sign in. And when I do, you'll see my name right up here right now. Now you'll also see a little favorites button. So what this allows me to do is, for example, if I click on go to my favorites, and I could see under saved or search history, you'll see uh, already there, climate change and ticks is right there. Okay, so it's saving this search. So I'll know in the future, what did I search on last time? It also allows me to actually right here, save the query. So I can actually save this particular query, climate change and ticks. And when I click it, I also have the option to turn on notifications right up here, which basically means anytime there's new items, that match that search, I'm going to get a notification in my email. Finally, if I click here on an individual record, one item I return, I click add this item. Now I've put the actual item into my favorites. So in the future, once you're logged in, if you click go to my favorites, save records, it's in there. And not only is it in there, you can add something called a label. So right here, if I click labels, and if I want to put in something called, let's say climate change, and I wanna call something, and I wanna add something called ticks, I can do it that way. So from now on, that is also a label that I can search on. You can put in must read, however you wanna categorize or distinguish what you need to search. So remember to have the option to save your records, save your searches, and save your search history, be sure to log in. I hope this is useful to you.